before we listen to something that's probably going to trigger people with an eating disorder, so if, if you uh, struggle with something like that, I honestly get off this video because it's not looking good. It's not going to be a good time. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we need to talk about Scamzempic, aka Ariel's Ozempic dupe. I was shocked. I've seen this girl pop up on my For You page from time to time. She's one of those like high energy, oh, I tell it like it is. I'm so honest and I'm so different and that's what makes me stand out and you should totally join my team and buy my products because actually I'm so amazing. Yeah, she gives those type of vibes. This is two minutes and 24 seconds that I was able to get the screen recording of this. Um, I think it was live, maybe, I don't remember. Let's get right into it. Take my pick. Wait, you thought I said, oh, is that pick? Oh, baby, no, we don't shoot ourselves up to lose weight anymore. That is gross, honestly. Oh, okay. That's an interesting way to put it. If you are on it, no judgment, but there's a better way. But no judgment. There's no shame here. Way. Let's talk about this. This is called Oh Take My Pick. And I'm talking to you because you said my kit was too expensive. Oh Take My Pick. We all know, let's be honest with ourselves. We all know. We all know that's supposed to sound like Ozempic. And I totally get it. It's not for everybody's budget. But what if you could take a few capsules a day. If I hadn't already seen MLMs overprice their products in subpar or decent looking but doesn't stand the test of time packaging, I I probably wouldn't be so harsh on it. You know, like I would think it's just someone like, okay, like they're they think they have like an Ozempic dupe. They they, they probably um definitely don't, but I I wouldn't have as big of a problem with it. But I look at the packaging. It's obviously plastic it sounds like either like gel capsules or gel ovals or whatever and with a white plastic lid it's just it's not giving expensive if she's gonna pair it to ozempic i would expect it to be in a glass jar like a thick glass jar you know and nicer packaging it just looks like some random container you can get off of one of those like wholesale websites i think one of them's like alibaba or something and like just slap your label on it it's not high effort okay. you have the exact same results and benefits of that toxic shot y'all are putting in your bodies. And we all know she's not talking about COVID, so that is a wild, wild claim. Because also, Ozempic is meant for people with diabetes, so I think it's a little dangerous to compare your product to Ozempic. And I'm sure she means in the weight loss way. Supersonic magical pill that is gonna like make you lose drastic amounts of weight, but Ozempic was intended for people with diabetes. So one, one if people with diabetes ended up seeing this video and are like, I don't need my Ozempic anymore. I don't need actual drugs from Big Pharma I'm gonna buy from this MLM, this random chick on social media. Dangerous, I think. Um, I, I highly doubt that this company would be okay with them, not Ozempic, but Ariel being okay with them making such claims. And that that's not the first like crazy thing we've seen from them. If you guys remember, I'll put like a picture of it somewhere around here. And they have a product that's like, it's something, something BBL. Oh my God, this website is tragic. I like the color scheme. Oh, here we go. Oh, take my pick. Yeah, it sounds a lot like Ozempic, doesn't it? Retails for $95. If you subscribe, you get it for $70 or whatever your price means. I'm sure it means like just buy it one time from a distributor maybe, um, $75. Either way, wild price, price point there. Absolutely fucking crazy. So Ozempic is made of semaglutide, disodium phosphate, dihydrate, propylene glycol, phenol, and water for injections. And what does Ariel have in their dupe product, according to this gal pal, key ingredients here? Gluc glucomannan, berberine, NAC, ginger root, and OEA. Um, I'll have that on there in case I tried to pronounce them. It was a train wreck. So not at all the same ingredients that are in Ozempic, um, but we are, we're going ahead and claiming that it's going to have the same effect as Ozempic for $75. And how much does Ozempic cost? So you can get the pen version of this, one pen for two milligrams you're going to be getting. You can buy it at Walgreens. I'm looking at goodrx.com. I used to use this when I was in college. 
um, because it, you can like shop around for where you can get your prescriptions for cheaper. Um, Walgreens, you can get it for $9.98.87 all the way up to, I'm seeing like over a thousand dollars. And so I'm sure part of the appeal is that you're getting it way cheaper than Ozempic. <laughs> and here where it says, it says, Ariel's Revolutionary Weight Loss and Blood Sugar Balancing Capsules. Right, so the intentions are different there versus Ozempic is intended for diabetics, not necessarily for the purpose of weight loss, but to balance blood sugar. Let's hear you say something because it absolutely had my jaw on the floor. Also, there's no crazy side effects like y'all are gonna get. You could have stomach paralysis on that thing. Okay, um, yeah, always read your side effects list. But also, just because something is natural and it comes from an MLM or it's, it's just some natural thing you're buying doesn't mean it's not going to have side effects. Let's all jot that down in our notes. You could set your metabolism way back and start yourself all over if you ever get off of it. Plus, it's just ugh, needles. And I hear it's really expensive. So why? There's a better way. So let me just tell you really fast about this. Oh, take my pick. This is full of glucomannan. Berberine, NAC, ginger root, and OEA. If you don't know what those are, go Google them, okay? Do your research. So just like the shot that people are getting that are thousands of dollars, this is not thousands of dollars, but just like it, it increases your fullness. What this does is it kind of creates a little gel, okay? So how my friend described it was she took some, she drank some water, right? And then she went to go eat. She took another couple, she literally took two bites, okay? She took a couple sips of her water. She felt so full right away and she felt the gel go. She literally felt it, okay? So it increases your fullness. It's just as drawing the second time hearing it. How disgusting. I am someone who I, I've thought about after breastfeeding and stuff, after all that's over, I was thinking like, oh, would I want to get implants or something? No, because the thought of having something foreign in my body absolutely terrorizes me. When I found out what, um, like how your girls look when you are breastfeeding looks inside, horrifying horrifying to think that's happening in my body i am i have a lot of texture issues and i don't like the way things look sometimes and that is something i wish i could unsee forever or just like take them out i don't know she just sat down and now she's full after a bite that i wouldn't say that that's healthy i wouldn't be like oh now i never need to eat again um you still need to eat okay Yes, you, you, your body still needs cal calories. Calories aren't inherently bad. Not a dietitian. I'm not a qualified for anything. But calories are not always bad. Your body literally needs them to function. So this by keeping you fuller longer, right? But it also helps with blood sugar levels. It can help with breaking down carbohydrate. Words are hard. Carbohydrates more effectively. It's gonna help with digestion. It boosts metabolic health. Um, something interesting to know is that it's not giving you a full ingredients list here that we're seeing on the page. It says key ingredients, but that's all we're getting. So we have no clue how much of each ingredient is in there. You don't know if it's a safe dose. You don't know if it's next to no dose of whatever amount of these all these ingredients that are the key ingredients even have and something that is important if you're going to be making claims like this on the internet is how much of something it takes to be effective because if you're just if you're just like yeah um ginger root is good for x y and z and you don't know how much you need for it to be effective for that certain thing then maybe shut your mouth or maybe just you know watch how you word it and just be like you know i really like it because um g ginger root i feel like ha does have an effect on like settling my stomach or whatever because like ginger got me through my first pregnancy the second one i never wanted to see ginger again that's good oh look they're like purple capsules wow this packaging sh really is sad Here's a funny part. Happiness guarantee. In order to qualify for the money back guarantee portion of our happiness guarantee you return must be postmarked within 30 days of the original order date unopened and in new condition. So you don't get to try it and then return it if you don't like it, even though you're spending like 70, 95, probably more dollars, depending on what you're buying. If you don't like it, you don't get your money back. If your products are open, not in new condition or postmarked within 31 to 60 days, you may exchange your products for any for another amazing aerial product. So you can't get your money back, you can exchange it for something else. 
if it's opened. Dang. A 10% restocking fee applies to returns. Fee may be waived when exchanging for another product. Oh my God, get the fuck out of here. A restocking fee? That is so ridiculous. MLMs pull in bank, bank. The MLM, not like most of the people you're gonna see on social media, statistically speaking. So it's a capsule. And all, all I'm picturing in my head right now is there's like crumbs of those ingredients just so they could, like literal pieces of dust in the capsule because it doesn't say how much is in there on the website that we're seeing. Um, there's like some dust from each of those ingredients in there, maybe. It's like, it could, it could be. I'm not saying it is. I'm saying it could be. This is how I'm imagining it. There's dust particles in there since we don't know how much is in there, but they're getting away with it. So we don't know how much is in a little capsule, a little capsule, and I'm going like this. Okay, a little capsule. And then there's what, like a little towel, you know, those little towels when you're a kid in the 90s and, and you put them in water and they they open and whatever, now you have a big towel. Is that what's going on in your stomach? Because that is horrifying. Please, please. No part of me would even think. I am. I stopped breastfeeding and started gaining weight, like within a couple weeks, like I gained six pounds, like it was nothing. I just started trying to lose weight again. And still, even though I'm struggling, still no part of me would want to put something like this in my body. Like the shot that is making your metabolism go in the crapper. It also curbs your appetite, which we kind of said, right? It increases your fullness. And then lastly, this is my favorite part. Who has food noise? Do you know what food noise is? It's when you cannot turn your brain off from the damn food, okay? That thing is constantly on when you're eating breakfast, you're thinking about lunch, when you're thinking about lunch, or you're eating lunch, or you're thinking about your snack or your dinner, right? I'm No, not necessarily. Oh my God, do I look like a fucking clown? Who knows? Who cares? I'm sure other people have that problem and she's probably trying to dangerously, I feel, uh, appeal to those people and pray on the fact that some people feel like that and that's a big struggle for them. Um, relatability queen. That's the, that's the name of the game in MLM. You got to relate to everybody while also being like, I don't need to be relatable. I can just be myself and people will come to me. My, I will find my tribe. What a weird way to put it. And also why are you putting so much more emphasis on something that it could be a big problem for some people? I'm an emotional eater and that is what food noise is. This quiets the food noise. Okay. So Oh Take My Pick is the new bestie in your life and you need to go grab it. DFLAH.com or link in bio. Love you. Love you. I don't think you love me. And also I hate like, I know, I know. And as someone who creates absolute trash short form content, I shouldn't be talking, but unfortunately you're here and I'm here on the internet where everyone gets to have an opinion. I, I hate an obvious attention grab in the beginning, like hook. And it's just like being obnoxious in like she looks like a crazy person and I'm sure that's intentional to get people to click on it. I don't like obvious stuff like that because I feel like I'm supposed to feel some sort of way. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for that one. What do you think? This was appalling. The approach, the appeal to emotion, the relatable queen aspect and talking about something in what I think could be a dangerous way, saying that this is like a more natural version of Ozempic, I, I don't think is a safe thing to say because people with diabetes could be led to think that they could just take this supplement from an MLM that's not regulated, like the drug is actually regulated. And I know there's issues there with big pharma and whatever, that, but let's be real. What if somebody thinks they could get off their medication that is backed by doctors, that's being monitored by a doctor that's prescribing it, and just some sales rep with no qualifications? telling you it's going to give you the same effect. Let's not do that. Thank you, please. If you guys like this video, give it a little likesy poo. If you have commentary to share with the class, leave that down below. And if you super like this video, share it with your besties and make sure you are subscribed so you get to see all of my videos. Thank you guys again, and I will see you in the next one.